today we're going to do gnocchi with zucchini and tomato sauce. Now some of you may not be real familiar with gnocchi. It's a potato pasta basically. So I have some here. Now you can make it yourself. It's made from mashed potato and flour. You could, some recipes are a little bit different, but those are the primary ones that are best known. You, it's made, you can see that there are little indentations that are, are traditional. Uh, it's just used in place of regular pasta. Now as you notice it comes in this little tray. It actually comes like this in, in some supermarkets. So you can find it fresh, frozen, or in the pasta area at vacuum pack like it is here. And that's the one that I had available to me. So we've got boiling salted water and we're just going to put this in here. Now it cooks really really fast. Take about three minutes and when they start coming to the top they're done and you're ready to move on. So Probably you don't want to start the sauce until you have the gnocchi pretty well done if you're doing the sauce I have today. We're going to just cook it and keep it warm. There are lots of different sauces that can be used. Anything that you would put on any other kind of pasta could go on gnocchi. So a lot of times it's a, a tomato sauce or a gorgonzola sauce or a creamy tomato sauce. As I said, anything that goes on other pasta will go on gnocchi too and it's a little bit of a change. So I think your family might enjoy it if you have never tried it before. So we'll wait for these to come to the top and then we'll move forward. As you can see, they've come to the top. They're all floating or looks as many as we can see are floating. So we'll count them all done. Again, it only takes two to three minutes to get to that point. Then you want to drain them off and keep them warm while you do get the sauce ready. So I'm going to put a lid over them just to keep them a little bit warm and we'll do the final drain in just a minute. Now the sauce we're doing, as I said, is zucchini tomato sauce. So we're going to get this started here and the first thing I'm going to do is put in some butter and I've got uh, two to three tablespoons of butter. If you want to cut that back with either canola oil or uh, another vegetable oil, you could do so. Either use a complete switch or I would probably uh, cut it uh, half and half to two to one uh, just because the flavor adds some nice smoothness to it uh, from the butter and I want to keep that in there. So we're going to let that melt down just a little bit. And while that's working, we're going to get ready for some onion. I'm going to go ahead and add these other ingredients, even though that's not quite up to a sizzle. I think the center is. Looks like our table's got a bit of a slant today. Everything's moving to the side there. That's what happens when you work outside. So that looks like it's hot enough. I've got a small onion or a half a cup. And this is just white onion, yellow onion, uh, whichever variety you happen to have. And with that, I'm also going to add about a half a cup of carrots that are julienne. Now, if you're growing your own, you can easily do those julienne cuts, or you can go to the supermarket if you're trying to save time and just buy those that are already cut into uh, little sticks. And the last thing I want to add to that is about two cups of zucchini. Now, the zucchini I've cut so that I have a lot of surface area. None of this is going to take a long time to cook. It's going to take, oh, two to three minutes is all it's going to take and it'll be done. So you want to kind of keep stirring it around. I'm going to use a little bit different tool. And just let the, the onion start to uh, turn translucent, let the carrot soften up, and uh, let the zucchini kind of get warm and uh, also start to become a little bit more translucent. Okay, we're going to season this now. I've got about a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, the reason we use kosher salt, of course, is because you actually use less because the crystals are so much larger. A fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And remember that nutmeg stales more quickly than a lot of our other seasonings, so don't keep it around too long or use whole nutmeg. And also a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Get those in there. Stir those around just a little bit. And then I've got two cups of cherry tomatoes today. Now, if you don't have cherry tomatoes in the garden, you could use a Roma tomato or a cooking tomato that you've cut and chopped into chunks that would be about the size of a tomato. We only want to cook these until they're just starting to wilt. We don't want to cook them too much. We want them to continue to maintain their shape. So basically, we're just trying to get them hot at this point. The other thing I'm going to add is about a half a cup of chopped parsley. Either Italian or regular parsley will work. Stir those together. Only takes about a minute to two minutes at this stage. So as you can see, you really need to have the gnocchi pretty much ready so that you don't have too many things going on at one time. And this is ready to go. So we'll turn that off, bring up our plate, collect our 
gnocchi. I don't think we're going to need it all on one plate, but we'll put some over here. And then put some of this sauce over the top. And the last thing I'm going to add is a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top of that. And this is a really fairly quick meal. You can do a lot of the vegetable chopping and prepping ahead of time so that when the meal is ready to come together, it's ready within just a few minutes, not much longer than it takes you to bring a pot of water to boil. I hope you'll try this one. It's gnocchi with zucchini and tomato sauce. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown. <laughs>